Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake, aka Tag, and today we're back at it again with one of the easiest decks to play in the entire game, and it is so much better right now than ever, because a lot of people are rocking P.E.K.K.A. Fisherman, and a lot of Fisherman decks, and Fisherman doesn't shoot up. So you know what counters that? Lava Hound clone with almost every single air card in Clash Royale. We got the Baby Dragon, we got the Fly Machine, we got the Lava Hound, the Lava Hound Pups, and the Bats, all along with the clone to double with the Baby Dragons and the Fly Machine. So let's go jump straight into some games, and let's assert some dominance. We got Lava Clone, so we're gonna get some very easy wins right now. Let's go guys let's go for bats in the back we'll see what's up we'll see what's popping this guy is not dropping anything so we're gonna relax a little bit i don't want to go and drop a skarmy because that's gonna be my best answer to bridge spam never cycle skarmy at the start of the game guys that is one of my number one rules with this deck and he's gonna end up going for dark prince so we're gonna end up going for a lumberjack here he's got pekka so a lot of people are running pekka fisherman if you want to counter pekka fisherman really easily this is the deck to do it and i'm about to show you how guys super super easy End up going in for the Skarmy. He's going to have to respond to that with a Zap. Then we're able to go in. Oh, he's going to Snowball even better, man. Look at all that damage I still get. Now I'm able to go in for a Lava Hound plus 5 Machine on offense and clone it. And then force out a Poison or something if he doesn't just immediately Poison it anyway. He already used a Snowball, so he has no answer to the Bats. Sure, you're going to get a little bit of damage from the Barbarians. But it doesn't matter because the Barbarians are not going to get connected to the Tower initially with the Battle Ram. So, very good for me. I can go in for a fly machine, and then I can go in for a uh, clone. So he's going to go for a fireball, unfortunately. It was really well played on his end, but we're still going to do a lot of uh, Lava Hound pup chip damage there. And man, are we making magic happen. This is actually working out really, really well. He's going to end up going in for a bandit, which we can kill with a lumberjack. And the lumberjack is going to put in work against the magic archer in case he just lets it go, which he probably will, right? No, he didn't. All right, my man. So I'm just going to go for a Baby Dragon then. He's going to go for a Snowball, expecting a Skarmy, which we're not about. We're not going for those rudimentary plays that you're going to guess every single time, man. We're not about that life. And we're just going to end up starting off another Lava Hound. And uh, this one should be the one that takes the tower, guys. So even though he has Fireball instead of Poison, which is really peculiar, I guess he just hates playing against Lava Clone. Wow, he's got an interesting comp. So usually it's P.E.K.K.A. This is not going to be Pekka. He's going to end up having Goblin Cage as well. He could Fireball this. It wouldn't surprise me. We're just going to go Skarmy and get a nice Elixir trade. I'm also going to have to Lumberjack, I think. It's fine, though. He's going to Fireball now, so now we can go for our Baby Dragon and then go clone everything. And this should win us the game. Because if he goes in for a uh, Electro Wizard, which he should, we could go in for Bats. He has no way of killing them now. And uh, the Bats should be able to just stomp all over his tower if uh, the Baby Dragon doesn't already. Awesome stuff, man. We're going to go for a Lumberjack right on top of that Magic Archer. Get some juicy chip damage on the tower. And man, are we about to go 3-crown him? I think so, guys. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. So I was thinking that we are going to play against like a Pekka deck and show you guys that we destroy Pekka. But no, he's got Fireball, and he's got a faster cycle, so this is a little bit more difficult. We got a game against the Thunder. We're going to sauce out a good luck here, and we're going to end up going for Bats in the back. We don't have our Skarmy, man. So this is going to be a little bit scary. All right, great. We have Skarmy and Cycle now. So we can go in for our Lava Hound, and we can defend against any bridge spam that he's going to be throwing at us, unless he spends a lot of Elixir. Okay, he spent a lot of Elixir. He dropped seven Elixir on a Mega Knight. We're going to end up going for a Skarmy as soon as that thing connects to the tower. And I think we're able to kill it now. It's going to end up going in for a Snowball, so I guess I'll just sack the tower. One of the Skeletons, one of the little Larrys is still alive. Let's go, Paw Champ. We're going to go in for a Clone. And the bats should end up dying to the double baby dragon clone because the baby dragon gets pushed away from the clone. And then we end up taking the tower. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We end up protecting our tower because that one little Larry survived. And then the bats end up dying because we pushed everything away with the clone. So we got so much damage there. Let's go. That was a really good start to the game for us. I kind of want to end up going out for... A Lava Hound again really aggressively when his bats are out of cycle. So let's go in for our Lava Hound and go in for our uh, spam right here right now. If he goes in for bats again, we can snowball them and that wouldn't be an issue. Could also Lumberjack right on top of the Mega Knight. Oh, he's going to go Goblin Gang. That was a really well played maneuver. I'm going to go for my bats now. We should be able to kill the Mega Knight. It's going to snowball here. Bats are still alive, so we should be able to clean up all of his spam here. No, he's going to get one hit on my tower. That's unfortunate. It's okay. Oh, he didn't. I thought that they, since there are two of them, they would shoot at the same time, but they didn't. They decided to go form an orderly line. They played line leader right there. And the initial Spear Goblin didn't get a hit, and the second one followed suit, so that was really good for me. 
I'm gonna end up going for a baby dragon in the back. And I'm debating whether or not I should snowball this. I'm gonna deny all damage. Don't know if it was worth it or not. And then I'm gonna start the Lava Hound. Okay, thankfully he's going same lane into us. If you try to do a tower tree, that would be a little bit more sketchy. But I'm okay with this as well. Kind of wanted up waiting for bats and clone. As long as we keep the fly machine alive, I think we're in a great spot. So then I can go for a secondary lava hound. That's what I'm banking on here. Getting a baby dragon, lava hound, and a uh, lot of spam here behind our lava hound. So let's go for double fly machines. Bats right here. And this is where we take it, guys. This is where we assert the dominance. Cone for the clone as well, for the meme, so we can shatter that Mega Knight even quicker. That thing got eaten up so quick! That thing got eaten like a snack quicker than Santa Claus cookies that you leave overnight for a man. Oh my gosh, we got him. I think we can go for like a snowball here as well. Have a little bit of a parade for the Skarmie. And uh, I think the Skarmie's gonna get a ton of damage, if not take it. Yeah, he has to snowball that. That's disastrous for him. So we can go for a Fly Machine. And if he goes in for a Mega Knight, we have enough Elixir to destroy it with, like, Bats and a uh, Lumberjack to tank. But it wasn't even necessary. I go for our clone here, going for Baby Dragon on top of the Bats. I think we got the game, guys, if we just go in for another Snowball on top of the Spear Goblins. As long as we get a little bit of Baby Dragon connection, a Fly Machine, we will walk with a W. Did not happen right then and there, but we're still having a great situation. So he's going to go for his Mega Knight now. So that's what I was talking about earlier. We can go in for the uh, Skarmy here. We can go in for a Baby Dragon. Notice the posturing of my Fly Machine. How I dropped it in the middle so then it still was able to defend. The Fly Machine might lock onto the tower and it does. That's what's up, man. We can go for a Lava Hound at the river and we will walk with the W as long as that reaches. It will because we should be able to get like a Snowball right on top of the... Uh, the Inferno Dragon. The Baby Dragon's gonna go and get a hit. I could've just snowballed the tower. Little did I know that that Baby Dragon was gonna get us that finishing blow. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you. This is actually one of the more difficult matchups because they can spam you opposite lane with Mega Knight and then just simply defend the Lava Hound push with an Inferno Dragon. So you kinda have to navigate it really carefully until you can reliably get that Lava Hound push that finishes off the game or takes the tower. We got a game against Supercell. So if we beat them bad enough with Lava Clone, do you think they'll nerf it? Hmm. We need to try our hardest now. He's got an Ice Wizard, so he's like, yo, I should technically win this, but you know, you, you probably won't since Lava Clone's busted. I don't think I have to do anything else. The Lumberjack should beat the Cannon Cart one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm not going to spend any extra Elixir there. And I'm definitely going to go snag a little bit of extra chip damage with a Baby Dragon Clone Lava Hound push on you, sir. Are you ready? Is your body prepared? Wow, you went in for a NATO early. That means I can definitely go in for a clone now. Your baby dragon is not going to be able to kill that in time. He's got NATO. He's got Ice Wizard. He's got baby dragon. He's got poison. Oh my goodness gracious, sir. What are you rocking? Is it going to be graveyard? Looks like a graveyard deck. Looks like he has matchup too, but man, I am feeling pretty good about our situation. Kind of wanted up going for a fly machine and then a lava hound right in front. I could also go in for bats because he doesn't end up having... His Tornado in cycle, he doesn't have Poison in cycle, but maybe they would just get too uh, stomped on by Ice Wizard. No, they're going to be able to kill the Baby Dragon. This is going to be brilliant. Baby Dragon's going to fall. That's what I'm talking about, boys. And I might be able to go in for like a Lava Hound, Lumberjack, and clone with this. I think that's going to be our play. I don't think he has enough Elixir to stop the Lumberjack. It's just going to rush right towards the tower. We're going to go for a Juicy Clone. We're going to get everything raged up. The pups are alive and thriving. His tower is being crippled. And the cannon cart is destroyed. Supercell, you got to nerf Lava Clone today. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. And the tower? That's even better than taking the tower. Because now we can work way on the left-hand tower. And the right-hand tower is in snowball range. And the king tower isn't going to be shooting us anymore. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna end up going for a Lava Hound right in front of the Baby Dragon. And I'm gonna go in for a Fly Machine right here, right now. Holy crap. Will Supercell nerf this deck? I hope they do, man. They they gave it a few nerfs here and there, and then they thought that like Magic Archer would lower the win rate of it. But I, I still think that Lava Clone, for all intentions and purposes, is busted, and he's a fat, fat nerf. So let's go in for Baby Dragon here. I could get another Juicy Clone with some of the pups. But 
I don't know if that was worth it or not. It's hard to say. It's only three elixir, right? What's the worst that can happen with wasting three elixir? Not too much. So we're gonna end up going for a Skarmie to finish off the cannon cart, and then we can also go in for a snowball to propel everything back a little bit further. Bats are gonna be able to finish everything off. Yeah, so all we have to do is cycle back to a snowball and we walk away with a W, my man. GG, well played and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you. And good luck in the rest of your grand challenge. I probably should have taken the, the right-hand tower a little bit quicker. It wasn't that close, though. GG and well played, man. Good luck in the rest of your GC. Let's go for bats in the back. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's happening. He's got a princess, so it's probably going to be a log bait deck, guys. That's what I'm feeling, at least. Let's go baby dragon, same lane as the princess. And I, unfortunately, don't have Skarmie in cycle if he goes in for a goblin barrel. So that'll be quite tragic. This is one of those matchups that's a little bit scary if they have Inferno Tower or if they end up having Rascals like he has. Because you don't have any way of killing that. You have no way of killing the Rascals. You don't have Log. I don't have Log for the Goblin Barrel, so I have to rely heavily on other things. I'm going to end up going for a Lava Hound, so then the Princess targets that. So then we can go in for a Skarmie to finish off the uh, Prince. This is still very aggressive from him. I'm going to end up going in for Bats right on top. We should be able to kill the Dark Goblin and the Princess. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get too much damage because the princess is going to be tucked away in her little nook and cranny, chipping away on top of all of our Lava Hound pups. I could go Fly Machine to kill that, or I could go Baby Dragon. I'm going to elect to go Fly Machine because it does more damage on the tower, so let's just do that. A little snipe that and go in the right-hand side, still. Need to finish that off with one Baby Dragon Belch and the Tower Help, so we had to time that perfectly. I'm going to end up going for a Skarmie here. Off to the side more. Because I expected a log to come down. I didn't know if it was going to be in the middle. I didn't know if it was going to be like there. So I was just being safe rather than sorry, delaying it, and then spreading it out as much as possible instead of dropping immediately right on top. So I can go Snowball this all. It's going to be our best bet. Kills the Thick Boy a little bit quicker, slows down all the Rascals, and then we're able to finish them off with just one tower hit. Let's go for Lava Hound. We're up a little bit of Elixir, I think. I can just eat this. I'm okay with that. See what he does. Go Baby Dragon. And then I want a Fly Machine in the middle to go kill this Princess if possible. He's probably going to Rocket, so I don't want to give him too much Rocket value. That's at least what I'm expecting right now. Go for a fly machine. Ah, uh, do I want to get back to fly machine? All right, I didn't give him too much value. He didn't rock it because I didn't give him any value. We're not back to fly machine. I, I counted my cards incorrectly. But the baby dragon should be able to kill everything with the snowball. Let's go. That's gonna all die, and then the lava hound is gonna just wreak havoc on the tower. All I need to do is go in for a skarmy on defense, and we should be able to walk with a clean three crown. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna go for the skarmy now. We're going to three crown him, guys. We have three crowned like every single person. It's insane. Oh, we didn't actually three crown, but it should have been a three crown. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. This is one of the more difficult matchups, but as you guys saw, I used the Lava Hound to tank a lot of the times for the Princess and the Dark Goblin, so it was redirected on that, so then my Skarmie was able to finish off the units without getting splashed. Also, Skarmie is the number one best answer to the Goblin Barrel. If you drop it behind the tower, it's going to finish off the Goblins without a single hit on your tower. This is one of the harder matchups, but we won it, and I'm very happy to have. So we got another game here. Unfortunately, we really don't have a good starting hand. We do not have our Lava Hound, we don't have our Skarmie, so we have to vigorously cycle to them. Oh my gosh, you're going to end up going for a balloon. We have to go in for a bats and hope to gosh that you don't end up having like a zap or a snowball. Fortunately, he doesn't, so we'll take it. And he doesn't even get death damage, so that's great. Let's go in for a lava hound because we're going to be up a little bit of elixir since he dropped his balloon. And now his balloon is in a cycle, so he doesn't have a great way of counter pushing and doing any like, value trades on us. Because our bats are out of cycle, he's not going to be able to do anything. His wind condition is out of cycle, so he has to cycle cards same lane as us. So if they're hog rider, if they're... Uh, Golem or if they're a giant or balloon or out of cycle, they can't really play opposite lane pressure because usually they only have one win condition, right? Let's go for a clone here. Get double fly machines and another baby dragon on the map. So then we are able to finish off the musketeer. For three elixir, we kill four elixir unit basically, so pretty happy with it. I don't think he's going to zap it in time. Yeah, he just aborted that mission as soon as we snowballed. That snowball was amazing. We kill the Musketeer and bounce back the 
balloon is still in range that our tower was able to hit it. So that worked out really, really well. Ooh, is he trying to save it for this? Can to try to do me dirty with a snowball or a zap? Yeah. All right, we have to end up going for a baby dragon because Lumberjack isn't the thing that would have screwed me there. 100% the thing that would have wrecked me is the Rage Step Bats. That would have been like a thousand damage, man. I can't deal with that. Not today. So I think he's going to balloon me because he should be able to outcycle me. I might just sack the left-hand tower. That's why I'm going on the right-hand side. We'll see though. No, his, his snowball's out of cycle. We should be fine. He's going to try to get an ice spear on top. That's not going to work. When you go bats, you're going to get one hit on the uh, balloon. Okay, you're going to get more than one hit. Oh, he missed one of them. Let's go. Let's go for a clone. I, I knew that he wouldn't get back to it in time. I didn't expect him to get it back at it at all, though. So that was a really weird play for him to do it uh, when the bats would have still gotten a lot of damage anyway. It seemed like a snowball that doesn't actually do what it's supposed to, but it was like in between. It allowed him to get one hit, but it didn't take my tower. Since we're just going to be taking out his outright right-hand side, he needed that tower, man. He had to commit fully to defending or attacking. And a lot of times, Lava Hound clones just make sure that your opponent just doesn't know what they're doing. It's just such an offensive deck that one mistake, the game is immediately over. I didn't even expect a three crown. I was getting ready to push the left-hand side. I'm going to sauce out a good luck against someone from a classy clan. And unfortunately, we're not running a very classy deck. We're rocking Lava Hound clone. So I'm sorry that we have to do you like this, sir. But we're going to start a Lava Hound right out of the gate. He's going to go for a baby dragon. So maybe he's running the same deck as us. I'm not sure. He's got furnace. So this is not what it's going to be. If it's Lava Hound, like, minor or something, that would be really weird. But I think it's probably going to end up being either a Pekka deck or it's going to be RG Lightning. If it's going to be RG, we have a pretty good matchup here. And he's going to end up having... Okay, it might be Pekka after seeing the Bandit. Let's go for a clone. Get some double Bravey Dragon action. And wow, we're just going to break through and do a ton of damage. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what's cooking. We get a lot of damage and we are about to take the tower on our next push, I think. We're up so much Elixir that I can go in for a Fly Machine. And then I could even go in for like a Lava Hound. But yeah, I kind of want to. I'd rather go for a Lava Hound so then I build up a push and then my Fly Machine isn't wasted. I could have Lumberjacked there. But I'd rather go in for a Fly Machine Lava Hound push when he doesn't have Elixir and he doesn't have great counters in hand. He probably goes in for a Furnace right on top. We'll see though. He might just sack it. He might have just given up, guys. He might have just aborted this mission because he dropped six Elixir, got countered, and then got counter push immediately right after. Yeah. There's not too much he can do. I'm sorry, sir. Lava Hound clone kind of just does this to people. They just give up immediately as soon as they see that the counter push is just going to take their tower. You can ignore things and just destroy opponents so many times.